Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video Topic 7.3 on Thermal Inversions. Okay, so real quick here, Thermal in Inversions are going to be um, where you have in normal conditions uh, warmer air uh, building up at the bottom and of course the typical way this works is hot air tends to rise, right? Well, a thermal inversion happens when you end up with this cooler layer of air trapping the warmer air beneath and with that warm air that's going to lead to a bunch of pollution, which we mentioned in the last couple of videos about photochemical smog and others uh, getting trapped within. This tends to happen in urban areas. So this diagram right here that you see on this slide, that's normal conditions. Hot air rises, it goes up, and that goes up uh, into the upper atmosphere. It's not a problem. Well, if you look over here, your thermal inversion, that's going to end up causing the ground cooling a lot faster than normal, right? And so you tend to have clearer skies and lighter winds. And so what happens is the cooler air, instead of going, uh, instead of the warmer air uh, passing straight up, you end up with this layer trapping pollutants in there. And of course, your topography, your larger buildings, that can make the problem even worse. And that's going to lead to your thermal inversion. And in that area, a lot of pollutions can get stuck in there. So you're going to see problems with smog, with your NOx chemicals and stuff like that getting trapped within that area. And so um, that's, as we mentioned, besides those other ones, you're going to get particulate matter and smoke and things like that. And as we mentioned in previous videos, the Clean Air Act has actually reduced quite a bit of the smog and stuff like that that we see trapped in some of those uh, areas and locations. So here's some other resources that you can go and look at to help you with this topic. And hopefully they are helpful and hopefully this has been helpful.